Hey, what is going on pros and press? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Relentless finally have a new flavour out after many, many months of not bringing any new drinks out. And this one is beyond the Sour Twist. So I've not seen this anywhere apart from Morrison's. I've only seen it at Morrison's thanks to one of our subscribers for pointing that out at Everyday Food Reviews. Uh, yeah, Morrison's the only place I got it. So I was in Enfield uh, in London and I popped to the Morrison's and they had them in there. So but I'm surprised I'm not seeing this anywhere else. I'm just really shocked. But uh, anyways, so it cost me £1, which was a good price for kind of relent relentless. Relentless always seems to be cheaper than always the other drinks for some reason. I don't know why, but, you know, pounds, I definitely agree with a quid for a, you know, 500ml can of energy drink, even though it has got sugar in it. So give you guys a 4 for 60 of the can. So we have, of course, we have this awesome looking greenish color, which I cannot complain about. Of course, this is the new Relentless kind of updated design. We all know the old kind of Relentless logo and stuff, but this is, of course, the newer kind of modern design. Uh, we have a picture of a raven or crow on there, but regardless, it's a picture of a black bird. Now, I'm looking at my other cans up there, and I never noticed a bird before. I thought it was just a black background, but yeah, it's actually a yeah, picture of a bird. And then of course we have the ingredients and stuff on the back. And then we have a little description and story, basically like the monsters do, they basically copied them. On the bottom we have nothing, and the top everything is all standard and silver, including the pull ring. So taking a close look over the can on the back. So this is full sugar, but Relentless decided to half the sugar in all of their cans, uh, like they did with Rockstar. And the sugar content is now 4.8 grams per 100 ml, and the total sugar for the can is 24 grams. So let's see, we're letting a sour twist. Uh, I'm not sure what actual flavour that is, but from it being green, I'm assuming it's going to be like apple. Maybe similar to the Rockstar Super Sours um, apple one, which of course was, I really enjoyed the Rockstar Super Sours apple. Um, so I'm assuming this is going to be apple as well. Unless I can find it, it says apple. Uh, looking at our vitamins, we have more vitamins than usual. We have uh, panophenic acid, we have niacin, vitamin B6, B12, but we have acid which is vitamin B, it literally just says acid with a space next to it, that's weird. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a space there, uh, there's a space there next to all the others and it says acid. That's kind of scary, just to list an acid. Caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml, so it's bang on the average of caffeine content. Uh, E102 may have a adverse effect on children. And Relentless is now owned by Energy Beverages LL LLC. Hmm, never heard of them. And then it's kind of just as they are always around, aren't they? So let's read this story. It says, <clears throat> The journey towards artistry and committing everything for your moment is an accolade in itself. Greatness or glory doesn't come by accident, it is earned. In foraging, in our humble opinion, the ultimate energy drink, we set upon a quest, not for perfection, but one of passion to produce a drink worthy of the name Relentless. Its refreshing, smooth finish and uncompromising flavour knows no boundaries. Be unwavering in your personal pursuit of greatness. Be relentless. Great. Okay. This doesn't say what flavour it is. But anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it does not explode over me. So I'm looking forward to this because, as I said, the Rockstar don't sell their super sour apple anymore. Uh, Monster haven't got an apple drink over here in England. They might have one abroad. But I'll tell you, there's not many apple drinks about. And um, I, I hope there is a another one. I'm guessing the colour is going to be white because white or clear, because apple it's the apple juice is kind of that colour, isn't it? Um, I know that normal apple juice is kind of that brownie colour, but I, I'm just thinking it's going to be light. I don't think it's going to be dark, and the smell and taste well. We'll have to find out. If it is apple, I'm just saying, I think it is apple, to be honest. Cough. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was totally wrong about that. Green? I guess it matches the can, and you guys know I absolutely love my green coloured things. I mean, look at that colour, guys. That is freaking awesome. I mean, I'm surprised they coloured it. You know, I mean, you can see the representing the colour to the can. But I'm actually really surprised they they coloured it, because I think most of the time, you are just going to drink it out of the can and not even notice. But, yeah, so the colour is green. It is non-see-through, and, of course, it is fizzy, so I'd say there's a normal amount of fizz, normal amount of bubbles on the side, and there wasn't really any fizz on the top. So I didn't really smell much pouring it out. So let's give it a smell now. That's apples. That's apples, 100%. Oh, it smells so good. I missed, I haven't had an apple energy drink for ages. Honestly, it's been almost years since they sold that. I keep going on about it, but it's literally been years since I saw a can of that Super Sours Rockstar Apple, and I loved it. 
Oh my wow, this smells so nice. Okay, nevertheless guys, let's taste some. Oh my god, wow. How nice is that? Oh, that's so nice, guys. That's so nice. Of course, it's nice and cold because it's been in the fridge and freezer for a bit. That's, that is so refreshing. That is so, so nice. Spare me, guys. I'm just, that, is, that is so good. I, I really, really miss an apple energy drink. Oh, my God. That is so good. So, yeah. It's apple, guys. And straight I would say... Really similar to the Rockstar Super Sours Apple, but the Rockstar one was full sugar, and it had like, I mean, the can's up there, I should have got it down to take the sugar, but it had like 60 grams of sugar or something stupid, so that was very, very, you know, like, like sickling, very, very sweet, but it was, it was nice regardless. This one, obviously, has got half the sugar, or certainly a lot, lot less sugar, so it's definitely not as it's not as syrupy but there's still a lot of flavor in this drink which i'm which i'm you know really surprised by um although in terms of the actual sour twist to it i know it's, it's sour twist but it's obviously apple it's it's not really sour as such it's kind of just like cause you know you get those really sour sweets don't you like those really uh you know get those nuclear candy or whatever it's called which is like super sour and it destroys your taste buds you know this is nothing like that it's just it should just be called like apple apple to be honest with you rather than sour twist because in a day it, it is just the apple energy drink taste and i have tried some of the other cheaper brands like there has been sometimes apple of these cheaper brands and stuff and yeah they they do taste similar but that apple energy drink taste is generally you know the same amongst the board of energy drinks but said I said again even though it's half sugar it's still it's still fairly sweet like you would think that is full sugar and a lot of people will find that maybe a bit too sweet and a bit too much even though it's not sweet like on the syrupy side it's just overall sweet overall because i think apple the flavor itself is just more of a sweeter flavor rather than say oh excuse me it's fizzy it's just a sweeter flavor than say just maybe some other flavors for example because it's like of an actual fruit it's not just like you know, it's not just like one of the ultra flavors, which are all up there. You know, it's not like ultra blue or ultra white or ultra lemon or whatever. It's kind of just, you know, as it is. But this, because it actually got the apple flavor in it, they can obviously really pump the apple flavor into it. And again, even though, again, I say it, even though it's not, even though it's the American style of energy drink, you still feel like it's got that real, you know, sweetness, sweetness kick to it, which is good. Uh, let me try some out of the can. Just as nice out the can. But the flavour itself, it does definitely taste like the white apples, because you know you can get reds and kind of you know apples like that. It definitely tastes of the green apples. Did I say what apples? Yeah, the green apple, which is generally the different type of apple juice, not the darker type of apples, which again is like the normal apple juice we know that you can buy out of like a, a carton or whatever. So it's definitely along the you know the green apple. And if it's not, then you know, whatever, but it's it certainly feels like it's along that type of apples. And you drink it, you get a good hit of apple and again the flavor is like totally and i say natural but it's that totally you get that hit of apple flavor energy drink apple flavor because let's be honest it's not natural apple color you know if it's got natural flavorings in it you know you drink like i said you drink a normal cup of apple juice and it tastes totally different to this because obviously it's got their own relentless blend in it just like the rockstar had their own uh, unique blend in their apple one as well even though these two taste fairly similar because well, of course it's just apple flavor at the end of the day so you drink it you get a good hit of apple flavor and then it just slowly dissipates into nothing aftertaste wise there isn't really anything in the aftertaste but but still there's no weird flavors there's no weird chemical taste there's nothing weird to report or anything like that like literally i'd happily down this like in one go it's that good um you probably burp a lot and all that but i mean if badland chugs kind of can down you know four liters of water in um you know seconds and then we can down a full can of this but um yeah guys it's so so nice really really enjoy that i mean so it's about time it sprung out a new flavor because the relentless corner was getting a bit small up there hidden out of the way and i'm glad they brought back the sour twist now i know they did do the apple and kiwi as well before i go i know they did do the apple and kiwi and that was a very different flavor 
because it tasted definitely more on the kiwi side, but not so much on the sour app on the, on the apple side, shall I say. So that is a really different drink in itself, and the kiwi definitely changes that drink. So the apple kiwi and this are they are totally different in their you know in the, in their own ways. But um, regardless, that is super nice. I'll definitely well, I say I'll be buying more, but I just don't go Morrison's. Like I just don't go Morrison's. I'll probably have to go to my local Morrison's and stock up ten cans, especially for a quid. You can't go wrong because when you pay. 150 or 40 for a can of monster or something stupid it, that's ridiculous but a pound for that no i'm not going to complain at that so but yeah that is so nice guys it's so good it just tastes incredible mm. so yeah double thumbs up for me guys so as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all later